Hey everyone, it's Eric Dor here, here with a special announcement. I am bringing subtypes back. So okay, subtypes were what I started out doing when I created my YouTube channel, but I had to take a step back from it to look over the mats to make sure everything was correct. And now I feel confident to bring this material back out into the world again. Now what I've discovered is there are about 64 special subtypes that you can talk about, four for every individual personnel type, depending on your cognitive function development. And now to start out, I'm going to create videos about the subtypes and I'm going to create more content related to investigating and exploring the subtypes. So I'm going to need your help here, I'm going to need your data, your feedback, your answers to better understand subtypes and how they work. And uh, we are going to build the next uh, generation MBTI together, an MBTI that looks and understands development and individual differences between personnel types. Now to start out, I want to offer subtype reports for all my patrons. So anybody who pledges more than $10 this month can get their own subtype report. That means you can get and already find out what subtype best resonates with you. Now, how I will go about this is I'm going to ask you to take my personality test and to send me a link to your results. And based on your cognitive function results and your scores and how you answer and five additional questions that I will ask you, uh, I'm going to give you your own subtype profile. So let's think of this as a way to get your own extended personal test results. So to get a more in-depth assessment about your personality type. So if you've ever wondered about how you differ from other INFPs or other ENFPs or other INTJs out there, subtypes are a great starting point because, you know, everyone can have a different development. I know, for example, that I am an INFJ that is very heavy in introverted thinking and yeah, that's not strange and that's why I take such an interest in systems and rationalizations and theories. It's part of that process and part of my subtype. Now, I also see that subtypes connect to confidence, to steadiness, to influence, to uh, generally just anxiety and conscientiousness and moods. So what I've found is everyone uses the diff all the cognitive functions, but everyone uses and perceives them differently. That means how you use the cognitive functions say a lot about you. What kind of extroverted sensing you have, what kind of introverted intuition you have, because sure everyone has it, but how does your introverted intuition work? That's the core of my subtype studies. I've found that People have emotional attachments to each subtype, to each cognitive function, to each uh, personal way of developing yourself. And that means uh, how you perceive the world and how you see things is unique to you and your personal type and subtype. Now, every subtype has a specific set of skills or intelligences that are unusually strong in you and that means the talent that you can use at work to excel it means for me that i can be a good problem solver and analyst it means uh, for you perhaps if you have high extra intuition that you can be a good exploratory researcher somebody who investigates new ideas and starts up new projects so whatever your cognitive functions are and however they are developed you have special talents and special abilities that other people don't have and you should find out what those are and you should investigate those in yourself so without further ado leave a like if you are looking forward to more subtype content and of course click the link down below to become a patron and to get your own subtype profile so thanks everyone for watching and i hope to see you all in the next video